Alright guys, it's not gonna happen. I was floppy, I was doing floppy arm with her guys, and every time I dropped it, she went in like a smiley, giggly phase. Nah, I think it's passed. Nah, I think she's just trying to grab one out now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crunchy, my grandpa's in. <laughs> she gave us a big <laughs> God. God. Oh, God. Why do I make fun of her? <laughs> it's like she had bad Mexican. <laughs> Milk. Hello! I don't know if this is the first clip of the day or not. Uh, Mum and I were meant to vlog because we just went to my grandparents' house with Babina, but all she did was sleep the whole time, to be honest. So, yeah, nothing to really show you. Um, everyone's been asking for an update on Granddad's eye. Uh, it's still a little bit red and a little bit sore, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was like a week ago So he's well on the path to recovery. Thank you very much for asking um, I bought Babina her first pair of little bikinis like baby bikinis and they are the cutest things on the face of the earth And it's starting to get warm enough now that we may actually be able to take her in the pool for the first time because my grandma my grandparents have a solar heated pool uh, so yeah, I've just been waiting for it to get warm enough so that the pool is sort of like lukewarm, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so probably tomorrow she might go for a first little sort of, not really a swim, but you know, in the pool for the first time. Uh, and this Saturday we're planning to go to Melbourne for the day. So excited, like you have no idea. She's getting really, really good. Um, in the sense of traveling in the car we can take her in the car seat now while she's awake even so yeah we're just sort of waiting for her to get not old enough but old enough so that she could handle a drive like that because it's an hour and a half there and then the shopping and whatever else we're gonna do and then an hour and a half home so it is a pretty big outing for a little baby and even me because I'm still not at a hundred percent yet but I'm not going to complain so yeah that's that's pretty much the update um and yeah that's about it we're at the fish and chip shop because it's like the nicest day ever so we're getting um fish and salad and we're gonna cut, make our own salad or whatever and we're, yeah because we're gonna buy salad um yeah so we're buying some fish so that we can have fish and salad for dinner because tanner's playing tonight so he's not cooking and i can't be stuffed cooking and mum's probably going to be at the shop um yeah changing a few things around and stuff like that so i think that's all that i had to update you guys on yeah i think that's about it i got a dollar i got a dollar Hey, 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 hey. Look, I don't know. Mum found this at the knob shop the other day. They were actually selling a dollar and they didn't sell it for a dollar, so <laughs> we got a bargain. Yeah, I look at that and I just figure that, like, American money, you guys are like so, so bland. Aussie money is so much better. We have colours on ours, and ours are made of plastic, not paper, so can't rip and get destructed and things like that. That's not to say that this is interesting. I like all the twirlies and things like that. And yeah, George Washington. Yeah. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. So, Anastasia and Tanner are in her room. She's starting a new YouTube channel, or not new, sort of on her channel, but off the side. Does that make sense? Yeah, about her uh, experience with pregnancy and everything else, motherhood. So he's in his room, in her room, helping her because they're going to set up as a TV channel, hopefully. So. I've stuck in the bathroom because we've just sort of all figured out we should have figured it out before that Babina's just too little to make a shift to Melbourne so we've decided to wait until the first week in January so that means we're going to be here for Christmas 
So all this time we've resisted putting up the Christmas tree. But as we're going to be here for Christmas, it'll be the baby's first Christmas as well. So tonight when they go to bed, I'm going to be trying to be a quiet mouse and put the Christmas tree up while they're sleeping. So I don't know how I'm going to manage it because also tonight sometime I have to sneak over to the shop and put the Christmas tree up in the window because of everything that's happened. I still haven't decorated the shop window for Christmas. So I've decided to do the shop window blue and gold. Um, and so that means I've got to fossick through all our Christmas decorations, get out all the blue and gold, take them to the shop, set up that mini Christmas tree, get back here, put up our huge Christmas tree that nearly touches the ceiling, decorate that without making any noise, without making the dogs bark, without waking up the baby. And it's already like one o'clock in the morning. So no sleep tonight at all. Plus somehow I have to unpack new stock for the shop for tomorrow, leave it for the girls to price and put out on the shelf and and yeah, fit in time to breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> yeah, maybe no sleep tomorrow night either because I'm not going to get all that done, I just know I'm not. But I have figured out where I'm going to put the Christmas tree so I'll sneak past their room and I'll show you. So I'm going to put it right in this spot here in the foyer because that's about the only spot that I think it will fit. So yeah, I'm going to have to shift that damn painting again for the 20th millionth time. Yeah, and put it right there, right where Thomas is standing. Hi Thomas. So yeah, so, because look, here's the lounge room. The baby's in the lounge room at the moment because we don't leave her in the bedroom anymore at night because she gets lonely. So she sleeps in the lounge room until it's time for us to go to bed because she likes the noise even though it's quiet at the moment. So, sorry about the really bad camera work. But yeah, so it's going in the foyer so I have to be quiet as a mouse tonight. And uh, yeah, that's my job. That's what mothers do.